what's good guys it's your boy gabby welcome to my youtube channel again guys i'm back with another video for the channel i hope you guys had a fun night and slept well i just woke up from my bed and i decided to do the intro to the video we are going to be doing today um so i hope you enjoy this video i'm not ready to start off now i just woke up now so i'm just going to go wash off and uh, prepare for the video but i hope you enjoyed the video if you do please go to like share subscribe turn on your post notifications to be notified at any new video i post and also don't forget to drop down comments of new video ideas you would like to see please and don't forget to follow me on my social media platform i will drop it down on my description box and also on the screen here so i hope you enjoy the video actually it's just a story time yeah, yeah i'm going to be back and we start up our story time <laughs> story time so this is it and this story time is about uh, me talking about my navigation towards every little like occupation or business no i won't say business i need to do business or work i did business actually like everything work that i try to do in um, this video i don't want to be long but i did a lot so i'm not going to just like list them and just talk a little about it i hope i'm able to just keep to the time so firstly the i started with music which i did around my jesus studio to ss1 like my senior year i guess so junior secondary school three and senior secondary school one yeah so that will call it nigeria again then if i have anybody outside the country watching me i did music and I wasn't able to continue, not because I didn't love music, but because like my mom wasn't really like open to it. Although she didn't like hold me down for music, it got to a point that she was like, okay, do your thing and just she just let me to do my thing. But at the end, I couldn't continue for reasons like I was learning beat creation, like creating of beats, music beats and all that. When and when I was creating these beats, I made up so like my cousin's friend. He was like, he was the bad luck towards me. He was the one that made me to stop music. I swear that I was creating these beats, and I took two days, two good days to create beats. And saying that I was going to show, if anyone was training me uh, in the music industry, I was going to show him um, the beat I created. I was like very open to like creating a beat a whole bit because i'm always creating short shots uh, ooh, 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 and all those kind of things sorry <coughs> try to create like something something that is presentable like a full percussion the full beat creation and all that and i want to show it to my trainer but when i was doing that my cousin's friend listened to it like i didn't even ask him to listen to it that's the funny part i didn't even ask him to listen to it I don't know why he was there. He just listened to it and he was like, Your beat is, your beat is whack. And I'm like, Oh! My heart was not like. I, I hate it when somebody just looked down on what I'm doing and it sent me back, but not now. <laughs> not now. Like, if you try it now, it's not going to work. So don't don't believe that anything you say now is going to get to me now. I'm older now, so I don't believe them. When it said something about the music and saying it was work and all that, I felt very bad and I couldn't continue, so I just dropped it. I just showed up my trainer and all that, and I wasn't really serious with music no more. But then I, when I went back to school, around my SS2, SS3, um, we had a music director who was added to our school and he taught us guitar. Uh, he taught guitar, um, organ, like piano and sax. He was just teaching different music instruments and eventually 
I think learning uh, the guitar. My guitar is right here. I was not in this direction. My guitar is right here. I decided to learn the guitar, but I learned, I when he came, it was really late. It's not like really late because some people can learn within six months. But he was like training us every day. It was just like once we just come and just show us like different like chords and all those kind of things. And then just practices, practice and the chord. Oh my English today is so he said it will tell us to practice it more and more and more and all that. So um I actually did well because for someone who started learning during that period and also played in a big like a big celebration. I went to St. Felix Seminary, so in that school we have Feast of St. Felix. It's a Catholic school. So we do the Feast of St. Felix, which is a very big occasion for everybody and I was lucky enough to be added among the instrumentalists who played that day for the choir. So it was a big thing because everybody was like giving us a guitar, I was like the top of the day and I was like mm, mm, mm. So I was really hyped up about guitar and after school, after my secondary school, um, when I got home, I thought I was going to continue with it but it wasn't possible because I didn't have no one to train me. The only person I knew at that point who played guitar, played bass guitar. So I played the lead guitar. I I learned the lead guitar, so I couldn't meet him to teach me. Eventually, I came across someone who played all this like high life music. He was old, so he didn't really know the concept of uh, guitar, like the the grassroots of guitar. That much. She just knew how to like play church music, play high life music. He doesn't have to play, but he didn't know how to do all the like do any fast that he don't have those kind of uh, now. I didn't really like have a choice, so I just told him to teach me and he was open to it. I was like very hard to work with me, but no problem he was going to teach me. I had my guitar, so I had to just come to his house on some days and just know um, like learn the guitar eventually. But my mom when she knew who was training me, she was very skeptical about it because my trainer at that point he smokes so my mom was like I don't want to be there because you are very young and I don't want them to influence you with this smoke and I you are my only son you're my only child I don't want I don't want you to like be around those set of persons and all this and all that so it actually caused a big um, like issue between I and my mom because I was so into music that I was ready to like you are not going to you are not going to stop me. I'm going to learn this and all that. But as time went on, I understood that my mom wasn't really happy about it, and I was like, okay, I'm not going to go to the person again. I respected her decision. I can't fuck with my education. I can't fuck with anything because if you are ready to take decisions to your hands, then you should know how to train yourself in school and all that. So I dropped it. I didn't go to him any longer. But then that didn't stop me from learning the guitar. So I took my phone because we had the internet. And, but I stopped at the point because my guitar got broken. Uh, yeah, got broken. Let me show you. Oh, yes, my guitar got broken. If you look here, you can you can see like an attachment, like an iron that they use in attaching the head and the neck of the, uh, the neck and the body of the guitar. The neck and the head of, and the body of the guitar. So like, I don't know um, how the, how this got broken because I gave it to someone and he broke it actually, not me. So I had to attach it this way. I had to fix it this way. And also knowing that this place also it got broken too here, around here it got broken too. So the sound doesn't come out well. So that made me it fucked me up and I couldn't like continue learning the guitar anymore. So I made friends who uh, work at the movies like props and sets directors and all that they work at the movies and i was uh, lucky to meet them somewhere like who i went out and they were there so i just made a few friends from there and i was introduced into the, the movie industry but that didn't work out also because <laughs> when i go to the spot where they act, where they are acting, I just look at them and the person who I made friends with was props and sets, I, I, I feel so, 
he was just teaching me the do's and don'ts about movies and all those kind of things. The timer, the stopper, the director, the uh, dresser, I think it's beautician, I don't know, I don't know, the makeup artist and all that. So he was showing me all this and, and I was like, I want to join the movies because I was so hyped up looking at everything that they are doing. I was like, I want to join the movies. And he was like, no problem, I could join the movies, but um, these are things I'm going to do. I was like, sure, I'm going to do it at a point, but I just want to join the movies. So he was taking me to the movies, and eventually I was lucky enough. The day they were looking for a character, and they needed a specific type of body and like age and all those kind of things. And eventually I was there, and they were like, look at this person, he can act it, I think he can act it. And it was a big, like a big, a big star, and I was so happy about it. Um, I was thinking I was going to be part of the movie, but eventually when I told my mom about it, she was like, "Nah, you can't do that because you're going to school." I didn't. I, I'm not saying that she she killed the dream because she was actually like, "You are going back to school next week, so if you are going to start a movie, that means you're going to push your schooling and all that." So I couldn't go back to the movies, but when I went to school, the spirit of um, acting just like dropped. I didn't feel it anymore because I wasn't in touch with those people who act and all those kind of things. So that was how movies stopped. When I was in the university, um, while I was in the university, I think my year one, after my year one, I did my year two first semester. That was when um, we had this coronavirus break. We home for a very long time and I couldn't just stay at home. I was like pushed to like learn something. I was like, I want to learn something that I'm going to use in my future and all those kind of things. I needed to learn something now that I'm at home. I can't just be sleeping at home, sitting at home, doing nothing. So I went, I actually I went back to the music industry. I went back to my trainer to teach me how to make beats and while he was teaching me I came across this um, store, this um, salon where they make dreads, a dread salon so that was where I went to I was like this is where I'm going to put to learn a handy work I didn't really trust music no more because my mind was really dead about music it's not like I don't love music now I also still, I still love music I'm just like I didn't like love it the way I like I didn't want to do music the way I, I wanted to then so I really killed the dreams of music so I saw this dress salon where I decided to uh, work and during the coronavirus break that was where I was I was learning and within six to seven months I already I was already used to it I was already good at it like not too good but like I was able to make people's hair I was at that point my mom was um, Having dreads, that was a hairstyle she was having dreadlocks. So I was making my mom's hair anytime it's cut and I'm making so it also helped me to practice. So that was it. Um, but when the coronavirus break ended, I went back to school and not like I stopped, I didn't really I didn't stop making dreads. I continued making dreads. I even made new innovations towards what I learned. Like I said I they didn't teach me how to make um, dread extensions, but thinking about it, uh, uh, thinking about how dreads are made, like how they lock people's hair and all that, I just feel like with this hair, I think I can get this. So I was just like practicing it, and eventually, when I started practicing, that's when I saw that actually this is something that is actually happening. I see people carrying it and all those kind of things on internet. So. I learned dread extensions which helped me out in school I made people's hair and all those kind of things because I believe there was something I believed in I believed in what, when you have something in your head and we have internet and so I just look at the internet and I'm like okay I can do this I can just try it I, will, I get scared but I try it on people's hair and people's head and it comes out nice sometimes, sometimes almost every time. Sometimes it comes out nice. I'm not always satisfied with it because I know that okay, I'm just like practicing with your hair and I don't know if that's the best I could do, but everybody like anybody I make their hair they 
like the hair so i feel like i was doing well in the hair part so i was doing much of more hair and all that but then um i continued dread style until my year three my year three um second semester no wait hold on i'm going now just give me a minute <laughs> 